Well-known Kazakh jeweler Berik Alibai has his works exhibited in museums around the world. He is known for his mastery among some of the most refined influential customers. The Kazakh jeweler never settles for mediocrity. Ahead of the Expo 2017, Berik Alibai is preparing a special surprise for the guests of the International Exposition. The jeweler will invite the Expo visitors to his house museum in order to attract tourist attention to the traditional Kazakh art. Here, he will have on display the gems of his collection, belts, daggers, jewelry made of precious metals and stones. My dream is to preserve all my creations for the next generation. They knew the traditional methods of Kazakh jewelry making. I also want my work to be exhibited in museums around the world. I want to show our art, the art of our ancestors, to foreigners. Barry Kalibai is the honored culture worker in Kazakhstan. He has a number of awards including Carl Fabergé's Diamond Award, Honored Jeweler and a sign of Honorary Jeweler of the Muslim World. In recent years, the master has led the Department of Restoration at the National Museum. The master says his love for this craft appeared in his childhood. He spent often his time in his grandfather's workshop who had also been a jeweler. This is how the love to making jewelry was born. Beric is one of a kind master. He's versatile. He's not only a jeweler, he has different skills. He also works with iron and wood. He's a restorer. Restorers are in high demand nowadays. Beric Alibai's copyright products are exhibited in the main museums of Kazakhstan and kept in private collections around the world. However, the master keeps the most valuable and unique works in his house museum. For example, jeweler had spent a year making this salkile for his daughter's wedding. Every detail of this masterpiece is made by hand. As Beric Alibai says, this exhibit has a special place in his collection and therefore it is not for sale. <laughs> There are several types of jewelry making styles in Kazakhstan and there are different methods and approaches in various parts of the country. Now we combine all this in one synthesis to preserve the old methods of work so they could be used by modern masters in the future. Apart from the museum, Barry Kalibai has a workshop in his house where he teaches jewelry making. Calm and patient people can become good jewelers, the master says. The jeweler makes jewelry without the use of computers and specialized equipment. This is the only way to create a true masterpiece of unique jewelry and put a piece of you in it, the master says.